look, I'm not a conspiracy guy here, okay? So <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. I'll make anything up. I don't care. And here's what I'm making up. If if you wanted to, if you were of the conspiratorial mind that you said football's rigged, okay? If if you of our are of the mindset that said football's rigged. And the Dolphins had a responsibility to get their fan base as excited as possible by putting as much talent on the field as possible, while also self-sabotaging to make sure that they really don't have a chance to win it all. What the Dolphins are doing at the center position is exactly what you would need to do to fulfill that conspiracy. Now, on one hand, what I'd like to do is go off hog wild on the fact that we don't even have a backup center unless you want to count Liam Eikenberg as the backup center, which is unacceptable. The dude couldn't even beat out Isaiah Wing for left guard. We already know Eikenberg's history. He did play a little bit of center while Colin, Connor Williams was um, busy sitting out instead of snapping the ball over to his head. Different subject. Actually, it's the same subject, but different part of the video. The point is, is that the only backup that we have to Connor Williams is, I guess, Liam Meikenberg. Now, the assumption is we, we can assume this all we want because the assumption going into every offseason is they're going to fix the offensive line, right? They're going to fix the line, right? They're going to fix the line. But Greer has some kind of anal retentive aversion to actually going out and getting Good players. Now, I know that, okay, look, we took care of left tackle, kind of, the five games of the year that he's going to be healthy, okay? Connor Williams, blocking-wise, excellent center. However, he continues to snap the ball over to his head. He's not that short. He's This isn't Doug Flutie, okay? He's not that short, all right? So this is an issue. And if he gets hurt, the only guy we have that can technically even really think about possibly maybe playing center is Liam Eikenberg. Now, the assumption is somebody that got cut somewhere else is going to be on the Dolphins, right? Right? That's what we're right, right, right. It's what we're going to do, right? So I'm not going to go totally batshit crazy just yet. But if we enter the season with this offensive line. You're going to have a hard time convincing me that the league isn't rigged and the Dolphins are purposely self-sabotaging by making the offensive line as eh as possible. All right? Do something. It just goes from bad to worse. It's bad enough that we've stuck with Eichenberg all this time and he can't even win a starting left guard position. That's not bad enough, but the guy that sucks so bad that he can't beat out you know, it's a, an average left guard to be the starter. He's our backup center. That's all we got. That's what we got. Come on, Greer. Come on. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping. I hope I post this video and like what happens to me a lot happens where by the time I post a video bitching about something, the problem has been solved. That's what I hope. I hope I cut this and I put it out and I share it to Facebook and I share it to Twitter. And the first comment I have to make is as soon as I put this out, look, we cover, we, we picked up these two good guys from somebody else's cuts. That's what I hope is going to happen. But I have no faith, no confidence, and no expectation that that's going to happen. In fact, I have the opposite. You see what happened with Dalvin Cook? You see what happened with Taylor? You see what I'm saying? I have more of an expectation that somehow, some way, even the couple of average guys that would have got cut, if they're cut, there's okay. We're already digging in the garbage. We're already digging in the garbage. If we're digging in the garbage, remember, first thing out of Greer's mouth after the season last year is Jackson and Eichenberg are going to get a real opportunity. So for now, Leakin Eichenberg is the backup center. Good luck to us.